Today we find out if the new Yu-Gi-Oh! Chaos boxes are better than the Mystery Power Cubes. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video, and yes, we will be doing this versus series, but first a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Metal Blue Eyes White Dragon. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know who you think will win. Power Cube or Chaos Box, I think there's one clear favorite here, but we never know. There could be some good stuff. All right, let's start off with the cube, because I think the cube is the underdog. Let's see if it can put up a nice uh, start, and you know, see if it can hold off the the, uh, the new Mystery Chaos Box, which has been pretty insane so far. So we, this is the one that has like the Ash Blossom and stuff on it, so let's see if that's the case I mean, if we get an ash blossom that would be pretty pretty amazing i mean honestly it would they could put a few ash blossoms in there it wouldn't even be that bad it's like a 70 dollars card msrp of these things is like 20 dollars. all right here are our cards actually not that much compared to usual usually there's more cards mechlord army token sunday we're gonna get a token collector or whatever swift scarecrow that might actually be worth some money that's a star select blast printing of it okay very cool tag gainer car curry we got the triass red familiar the uh, Gokies, very nice. Bushsaw Shark, that's a new, uh, or an old <laughs> fish, I guess, not new. Virtual World, we got the Jack in the Hand. The Jack in the Hand, what in the world? <laughs> what in the world is that? All right, and Mightn't Cry. And now we have our three booster packs. That was it. That was all everything. Oh, wait. We got a Masakani Magatama. Okay, I don't know if I can read that right, but we have three packs here. One is Cybernetic Horizon, Dark Saviors, and we got a Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. So, a couple of okay packs, and then we got a really good one. Let's see if that can actually pull something good and give us a chance. Let's start off with the Cybernetic Horizon, and let's see if we can pull something amazing. One, two, three. Can we pull something good? Let's go. Cyber Dragon Veer, the Boral Regenerator, Pormapal Lee Bellman, World Like Seas Memory, Crusadia Vanguard, Zero Extra Link. Dragonity course. We got the Umber Mirage, Umber Mirage, the Elemental Lord, and Incantation Talismandra. Okay, another one of those. Okay, we've pulled that card so many times. Let's go to Dark Saviors. Let's see if we can pull something good out of here. We have a Vampire Retainer. Cool card. Vampire, Vampiric Koala. Okay. Vampire Sorcerer. Lots of Vampire. Vampire Familiar. Okay, these are all Dual Links cards. Well, a couple of them are. And... Raphael, a champion for hire. I do love the for hire cards. This is pretty cool. Speaking of Duel Links, this one never made it to Duel Links, but this is also a pretty good card in that archetype. Pretty awesome. Okay, LOB pack, our last hope at having anything good out of the Mystery Cube. I guess Raphael, maybe like a dollar or something like that. I don't know. He might even be less than that. Can we get the Blue Eyes White Dragon? We've got an M Warrior number one, Sogan, Armored Starfish, Beaver Warrior. You love to see the Beaver. The Electro Whip. Frenzied Panda. He no Thomas Soul, an intensely hot flame creature that rams anything standing in its way. It rams anything. Just it's like uh, it's like something from like Mario or something. It's like except it has a face. We got a two-prong attack. And can we get a foil? Ooh, a monster reborn! Talk about a good one. It does have a little small ding right there, but honestly, not too big. Wait, it came off. Okay. Monster Reborn Ultra Rare. So the cube has a chance we have officially pulled a card that is worth something probably like a 12 dollars card that's not bad now we're on to the chaos box guys this one is definitely a favorite over the other one let's see what we can pull can we get a start of server drive first edition pack that'd be pretty crazy because i have personally pulled a first edition start of server drive out of these in a video recently also i have heard of other people doing it and somebody pulled a archlord christia so that is pretty amazing and archlord christia i guess for correct grammar let's see what we can pull only five packs in here so only eight total packs open in this video not a very long one that's for sure let's see if we can pull something good we have oh another duelist alliance last time i got it i got a duelist alliance pack as well so maybe we will get the stratus overdrive Whew, let's hope so that'd be pretty cool the best part is it's first edition which is pretty amazing what in the world is going on here We've got the cloud castle okay Shadal Hedgehog, amazing card. Gaia the Midnight Sun, very cool name. It's just, just, just a great name, okay? This gen, I just said like no words for like five seconds. I was like, <laughs> Cloud Castle, Super Every Samurai Blue Brawler. This is a Teller Knight Onkali. Number 58, Burner Vision. Performal Pal Kaleidoscorp, and Feast of the Wild. One day we're gonna get like a Ghost Rare or something good out of there, but one day, you know, Shadal Construct maybe. Next pack, let's go with. Uh... Let's go with this one. Oh, and there it is! The first edition Stardust Overdrive. So it is the same packs, it seems. Let's save that one for the end, because that's the best card. If they pull, like, any sort of foil, this is going to be over. Dark Crisis. Okay, that was literally the same as we got the other day and the, when I opened one of these. I don't remember what video that was. Whew, let's go. 
Let's do this for Skill Drain and Exodia Necros in the same pack. Falling down. Sasuke Samurai. We have a chance at a very a couple of very expensive cards that start us overdrive after this. Arsenal Robber. Ray of Hope. DD Trainer. Guardian Chaist. Ojama Trio. There they are. And Sukiyomi, like a four or five dollar rare. And Checkmate. Dun dun. Checkmate. Very cool. That Sukiyomi officially puts them on the board, though, I think. So that's that's pretty good. Let's go. Here's the mega pack. Yeah, 2018. These are literally the same packs. So it looks like they give you the same packs if like there's different sets of different packs, but you will get all of the exact same packs if you get like one specific set of packs. If you guys understand what I mean, link bell. So like if you get like Stardust Overdrive, you're gonna get like Dark Crisis, um, Duelist Alliance, Megaton 2018. That's what it seems like. I also had one where I got like a Megaton 2015, then we got like a Spell Ruler and stuff the first time I opened this. Capacitor Stalker, here we go. Jack Wyvern, Ancient Gear Golem, the Ultimate Pound, Nimble Beaver, Mermail Abyss Nary, All your guys manifest manifestation, okay, and it's the same card i got this last time dragonic diagram and a spellbook of knowledge that's even better that's also still a good card spellbook of knowledge we have now hit a couple of good cards i don't think they're crazy money anymore but they're still probably worth at least a dollar it is going to be a very close battle let's see what this last pack is it is a breakers of shadow just like last time here we go can we get something good from bosch chris bosch two three N twilight ninja not ninja twilight we got all lumirage the forbidden apocrypha Destruction Sword, Flash, Wizard Buster, Destruction Sword, Blackwing, Harmaton, The Dust, Shiranui, Shogun Saga, there we have an Ultra Rare, and then the Performer Pal Guitar Turtle, very funny looking card. Okay, Ultra Rare, that is not guaranteed, that's a good pull. All right, it all comes down to this. I don't know if they actually have the lead yet, so this actually might matter what we pull here. Can we get a Ghost Rare Majestic Star Dragon, or... Maybe we could get Artsor Christian. Maybe we could get Garniatos. Any of those are huge pulls. Any foil we're going to be happy with. Ghost Rare Potential, Ultimate Rare Potential, First Edition. Let's go. Molting Escape. Time Passage. Ground Spider. Can we get something good? Dark Spider. Lots of spiders in here. We say this every time. Spider Web. Level Eater. Whew. Gemini Spark is in the next card. Could this be a huge card out of one of these mystery boxes? Ooh, Cataplapass? The Witch of Fate? What in the world? Cato Blippus. I don't know how to say that. And Bending Destiny. Okay, just a regular rare. We had our chance again, but we failed. Honestly, this was a close battle, so you guys will see who won. I think this is pretty low value for both of them, but they are pretty cheap products, $20 and $25, something like that. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content coming up like this. Shout out to TCG Trust Card, Stonefall Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Clayton Fitzgerald, 87, Brett Palm, Puffins Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Stanley Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barty, John Nolan, Anandatai Show, and Tom McLean. Thank you guys for supporting this channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.